Hello, 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 everyone. It's Kim from KNRP here in Southeastern Manitoba. We have a bright, sunshiny day today. It is nine degrees Celsius, which means it's 48 degrees Fahrenheit. It's getting warmer. It's getting much more lovely. Yesterday, Ron and I went on putt. We went to a town called Gimli. And, oh, see, look. Mute that. There we go. We went to Gimli and... Um, they have it's it's right on like one of the uh lakes in manitoba huge lake so i've got pictures of looking standing on the seawall and looking over the ice it's not a seawall it's a wall protecting the harbor um that's all i've seen it but, uh, anyway and the, the wall is got paintings on it by the local artists they've got a really really huge art um uh center there Hey, Mrs. Gigi. Hey, Marguerite. Nice to see you guys. Hey, how are you? Hey, Belinda. Nice to see you. So, it's the three of us today playing. We're doing boho. And first of all, I'd like us each to explain how what we feel boho is in our own minds kind of thing. Because everybody's got their own take on it. So... Um, let's start with Miriam. I'm, I'm going to make you big. You can tell us what you're planning on doing and, and does that make sense? Yes. Makes Here you sense. go. You're big. Okay. Boho is my style. <laughs> I didn't know it called like that, but it's my style. And uh, for me, boho is hippie. It's like a 60 child, like I am, that went for all of these things when you, your aspiration in life was to put a t-shirt and a pair of jeans and go out with friends. That's it. <laughs> no, like now that since the eight they put makeup and I don't know what else. So I have, I am going to do boho beads and tassels. And uh, I have a lot of things here and I have more beside me, but I, I have no room for it. So I am <laughs> going to start and let's see what happens. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Okay, and you ready to go big? Sure. I'm ready. You're up. Okay. Boho to me is short it's short for Bohemian, which was actually a take off of the Roma people who took scraps and pieces of fabric that they found wherever and that's how they decorated their caravans and themselves. And so boho is real and then it was taken on in the twenties, I believe with sort of the free-spirited, colorful, breaking out of Victorian rules. And it's basically anything and everything with color and patterns and lace and ribbon and whatever. So I decided to do a bo boho journal or art book. Okay. I'm not sure what it's going to be. But these, this is the front and the back so far. I don't know for sure what I'm going to put in here. But we had a big ottoman in our family room and I had made a cover for it that was rather boho with all these upholstery samples. So we took the ottoman out and I took apart the um, slip cover. And that's where it's going to end up is in this journal. So it's a tribute for in my mind for right now. I have a friend that adopted a Roma girl um, from nice. Romania. And she's a Roman Roma um, several generations back. and. We became good friends and she's really taken this child who had fetal alcohol syndrome and helped her grow and learn and she's in her 20s now and functioning and so the, i don't know i may give it to sarah when i'm done we'll see anyway that's what i think of is just jewelry and fun and free and don't be constricted by the world standard of what is style or fashion or acceptable? It's kind of the anti-fashion, I think, statement. Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. My turn. Oh, find me. <laughs> I lost the cursor, guys. 
<laughs> it's going to be a day of that. I could tell already. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So to me, boho is everything both Miriam and Anne said. I'm a maximalist because I like so much color and so many, the more color, the better to me and lots of it. I can't do beiges, grages. It's just really, really hard for me to function in that kind of a, an environment. White walls, that kind of, no, I, I just, maybe that's why I have so much clutter on my desk because my walls are very pale painted down here because it's the basement and it's dark. Anyway, I don't know what I'm working on today. I pulled out stuff to do boho beads, but I also pulled out my, uh, this is my peace, love, understanding and sarcasm journal. I could always add to that. I've got, you know, a boho kind of castle, but I figured that maybe I would do a little bit of work in here and add some of this uh, fun, fuzzy, glittery, scrubby yarn and do some stitching on the pages to add some more whimsy and that kind of thing to it. So that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm going to do today because this is uh, definitely an eclectic <laughs> mix of whatever I feel like putting in. It's just me, right? So boho is definitely my style as well. And uh, so now we will share the screen. If you in chat would like to see what somebody's working up big and personal, front and center, let me know and, and we'll definitely make that happen. Does that make yeah. sense? I like it. Anyone? Yes, we have two Belindas. We have two Belindas. Oh, when hello. Mary, when hello. Mrs. Gigi. Hi. <laughs> hello. 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 Nice to see you. Welcome. 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 Well, wow, it's a two Belinda day. That makes it magical, oh. I think. That's, I don't oh, think yeah. we've ever had two Belindas before. I don't think so either. That's awesome. I know we've had two Kims because there's Kimberly 557. Yeah. 557. Yeah. So I know that we've often had two Kims and I know we've got two Anns. Still only got the one Miriam. One, the only yes. original Miriam. Woohoo! Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, Miriam is a very common name, but I didn't find a lot of me another Miriam, of even one. And I am in a lot of chats, different ones. Yeah. Well, I'm unique. You are <laughs> definitely unique, my friend. <laughs> hey, Dana, nice to see you. Janine. Oh, Janine. Oh, you've been Janine, How are you? Oh, okay. I'm sorry that you've been not well for the past week. Janine would like to come and play with us one day, guys. Oh, that would be so good. It would. It would. I hope you feel better soon, Janine. And Dane is not well today. She's got a cold. So I need to find the end of this. There, we got it. This is like an eyelashy kind of yarn. It was in the scrubby bin for yarn. So it's some sort of weird, fibery, fun stuff. So I just want to do some stitching in this book with it. Yeah. Hey, Jan, nice to see you, hon. We are leaving... May 5th, Jan. We are leaving May 5th, just so that you know. Oh, look, I've got paint under my nails. Yeah. So Anne is working on her boho journal. I'm going to play in this one a little bit. And uh, just add a little bit of more something something yesterday i spent some time in my sewing studio and um took scraps and pieces and bits and this is some blue silk i've had forever and a piece of lace and another piece of sari silk so i sewed some down to a uh, cardstock and an old file card file folder and now i'm just switching them up and stitching them, changing them a little bit to be a tag. 
Wow. So use up some stuff I have. I have lots of stuff up there. <laughs> I think we all have lots of stuff. Yeah. I think that's part of the boho thing too, right? Yes. yes. I think so. Because being creative like this, you always can find a use for things, right? So you don't want to ever throw anything out because just in case just, just in case <laughs> and and also yeah, i yeah. think too because like my parents grew up during the depression so you never threw anything out ever because you could repurpose that into something somewhere somewhere along the line you could repurpose it yes so this uh is not going to thread nice oh thanks janine Need a needle with a bit bigger eye, I think. What I am doing is I did some uh, bases with soft clay and a cap, uh, and a bead cap, and also I have have here some uh, like a ring, so I can put ta dangling here something and then here something. Like I can put. Uh, I'll make you big. Like Hang on. Wait, let's make Miriam okay. big. She's explaining something here. Okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. Well, these ones I made with soft clay. I have also straws to do the centers of the and for the tassels. Of course, I have bead caps. But I have these caps also, that are caps from, this is from a bottle, and the, those are from this kind of bottles of shampoo that I find, I found. And I also planning to cut these for a bigger tassel with this. So you don't need to have bead caps to do that. And I have a lot of things to put. I, I will see what I am using. I have beads. Those beads I did by myself with paper. I have any kinds. I have another kind somewhere <laughs> with, that I made with uh, polymer clay. And... Uh, of course, I have little bits, and I have this thing for the dangles. Um, okay, everything, everything. You need to pay attention because I don't know what I am going to use. I bought. I have buttons here. It will be funny to do a, a tassel that is hanging from a button. That would be lovely. Yeah. So. We'll see. Okay, so this fuzzy orange yarn doesn't want to be threaded, guys. I've put glue on the end and everything. Any tips, tricks, anyone? Um, get a needle with a bigger hole. I, I just pulled one out. <laughs> do you have a piece of thin wire you could put through I, the I um, eye and then make a hook? and? Do. On the side that's sticking out of the needle, the eye of the needle, and then you can pull that, put wrap the yarn yeah. around that hook. Yeah. And use it like a needle threader. Yeah. You're making yeah. a needle threader, actually. So yeah. Like okay, my wire isn't thin enough. Of course. Of course. Well, what other wire do I have here? You could try twisting the yarn and licking it. But. I uh, tried putting glue on it and the glue wouldn't stick. You know so. how to do that? I have a video of that I made for so to know how to do. You need to put the needle on the side, on the seam side. And then you put the yarn around and with your fingers you grab really tight then you take that out 
turn the needle to the side that it's wider on the eye, and then you put the knife. Uh, I've, tried the that. Knife? I've tried that too. Oh, oh, no, yeah. it doesn't like it. Does not like no, it. Well, no luck today. <laughs> so then you know what I'm going to do? There's Get more a different I'm yarn. Glue it. Glue I, it. I'm going to use this yarn. I am going to use this yarn. Stitch over it with other thread. Couch it. Oh, I yeah. Could, I could do that That's too. Idea. But I can also use a crochet hook. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. there you go. There's Where there's a will, there's a way, right? There is. Yes. There is. I just need a finer crochet hook. All right. How are you doing, Anne? Can I put you big now for a bit? Yeah, I'm just sewing a little copper doodad on my tag oh. here. There's Anne. I have these little... I don't know. I think they're rose gold, not copper, supposedly. Little pieces that are supposed to, I think they're supposed to be used for jewelry, but I use them for all kinds of things. They were on clearance. And if they're on clearance, then they need to come to my house before they get thrown away. That's my goal in life. Save the landfill by bringing it to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I have that same feeling. See? Yeah. I mean, really, they just throw things away, right? Eventually. Yeah. So, and like you said, eventually, I've now found a use for them. They're fun to add to little things. And they are. So, I don't know how most people make journals, but I like to make all the bits and pieces and then put the journal together because otherwise I put it together and then I don't want to monkey with it anymore. So, this way I can just, I'm hiding the knot right now in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Uh, uh, there we go. See, that's done now, but I have to do something up here or decide what to do with this. I can't decide if that's going to be the, <clears throat> like you would have a, um, you know, a tassel or something at the end. Obviously I didn't plan this out ahead of time. I just let it go and be what it wants to be. This piece of sari strip came from one of Dana's sales. So I got a whole bag full of it just in strips already because I have a couple saris, but I always feel really bad ripping them up. So now I don't have to feel bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> it'll just go and it'll be fine. So, but I, I like silk a lot. I like the way it feels. I like the way it looks. I like the way it accepts dyes. And I even like sewing on it, which is crazy, but I do. Silk is a wonderful thing. It is. It's a. It's amazing, amazing fiber. It's super strong. The Chinese once made a form of a bulletproof vest out of silk. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. They wore quilted. People think, think quilting is it purely started in America, but it's not true. No, no. The Chinese no. quilted their garments all the time to make them warmer. Because in parts of China, it gets very, 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 very cold. It does. So yeah, they would almost. layer things up and use the silk. Silk can be as thin as this stuff, or it can be as heavy as wool. So it's a very versatile fiber. Don't be afraid of it. That's what I say. So if you're using it on a sewing machine, I need to ask because I know that if you use satin and you've got any slightest burr on your needle, you will pull threads. Yes. Is silk the same in that respect? or Somewhat, yes. But actually polyester satin to me is much harder to deal with than okay. silk satin which is probably backwards for most people. But what you have to do is get the right size needle, depending on the weight of your silk. Yeah. And you need to get a good needle. Don't ever buy needles that aren't plastic in a plastic box, you know, plastic case, because the slightest bend of a needle can not only 
mess up your seam and your fabric, it can actually mess up your sewing machine oh. by knocking it out of timing. A lot of people take their sewing machines in for repair and the only, their two most common things are, one, it's dirty, well, two, the not. needles in wrong, backwards. I was given several sewing machines that people thought were broken, but their needle was just in backwards. Yeah. Or they're using crummy old needles that are bent. So silk, re depending on the weight of the silk, this stuff, I'd use a very, very fine, sharp needle nice. and, and wow. have a new needle, not an old needle. So, And then you have to sometimes begin it. Like if I was sewing on this, I would start sewing on a piece of paper or interfacing before I got to the silk. Just so it doesn't get stuck down in the machine. Right. But yeah, there's just some things like that you have to do to make it work. But yeah, this is Silk Dupioni and it's, it's really pretty easy to work with. It's not quite as easy as cotton, but it's not hard to do. So, and raw silk, I don't like the smell of it, but it's pretty much like cotton too. But silk comes in everything from this and even thinner. This is a type of chiffon, I think. And silk gauze is basically like chiffon. And then it'll go all the way up to suiting, like a man's silk suit. Right. Will, will look like a wool suit. We even have a rug that's half wool, half silk. I know that it's very, very versatile. It is. And it's a natural fiber, so it dyes easily. Right. And that's how they get these vibrant, vibrant colors in a sari. Oh. And it's not an oil byproduct like polyester is. So. It's an so, animal product. What did you say, Miriam? It's an animal product. Yeah, worms. Yes. <laughs> Don't you ever wonder, like, who was the first person that went, I'm going to take that silk, I'm going to take that worm's cocoon and I'm going to make it into thread. <laughs> well, there's a lot of things like that. I, I you know. I want to be friends with people like that. Yeah. This person. Like, like, who was the first person that did that? Because it's such a bizarre thing. that. I mean, the sheep, you kind of understand that one. You go, oh, they keep themselves warm. I'll figure something out with that one. Yeah. A worm. All right. Share the screen again for a while. What? What? Who was the first that one that uh, thought about it? Crickets. Oh yeah. Hi, Dana. Yeah. Very hungry people in Africa, probably. Maybe. Could be. You know. I mean, they're actually, I think, fairly nutritious. They're supposed yeah. to be. No kosher, then. No kosher. No kosher crickets? No. Oh. Insect, insect. They are so no kosher that very religious people, observant, they check the lettuce or the greens for insects. And if they find more than two, like three, they tossed it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, a lot of those laws uh -huh. kept them alive. You know? Yeah. Because really, a lot of times, you know, it's, it is the protein, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, it's the protein. But not a, well, we don't eat half of the cow, so. Yeah. It's not <laughs> a clean protein is yeah. what it is right yeah that's it but you think back that you know in olden times that was that kept people alive because they weren't eating things that were germy yeah like pork pork the same yeah but pork was If not handled absolutely perfectly, can carry what is it they carry? Uh, trichinosis. Yes, trichinosis. 
So this is what I did yesterday. I pulled out some ribbon and I sewed it onto this advertising card. And I probably just showed my address, didn't I? No, it's so beautiful. Um, that. No, no, no. I was looking down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wasn't. I don't know. All of the edible, Marguerite? <laughs> Not my house. <laughs> Yeah, really. Who figured? I bet it was trying to preserve it, trying to preserve the olive. They basically pickled it, didn't they? Isn't that what they do with pickles? It's a form of pickling with olives. I mean, I don't. Yeah, that's what they do with pickles. I don't. I don't eat. No, them. I think Although, it's in salt. The olive is in salt, in water and salt. Well, that's a form of pickling. It's a yes. form, form of preservation. Yes, yes, it is. You are right <laughs> in that. And they would salt meat to save it. So, yeah. Why not salt some fruit off a tree, right? But yeah, who figured all those things out? I don't know. Is all of a fruit? Well, we have another, I think so. Another yeah. streamer. I, we have another streamer, Kim. Hey, Andrew, nice to see you. I have a fly here. <laughs> it comes back and comes back. Maybe she wants to stream. Maybe, maybe. Hello, Andrea. We are doing boho Andrea, today. How are you? Now I can properly say hi to you. Yeah, I can't type and cut and sew at the same time. That's too no, much. No. no. That's too much. I know. I get you. Mm. I get you. Me neither. The gray matter is just not that flexible right now. I know that feeling too. I have four so far. Four I tassels? Oh, four awesome. Oh, wow. the wires. Let's make her big. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I got to find my cursor. Good grief. See, somebody else needs to do this. There we go. That's okay. <laughs> you That's need okay. an assistant. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to put the wire and the beads around, but uh, so far I put the fabrics around and they are looking good. Ooh, they're pretty. So I they're have gonna be, Are they going to be dangles, Miriam? Like tassel thingies? Yes. This one, yes, because I have here also a ring, so it will be dangles. And uh, I don't know the use for that because I'm not journaling. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to have a use for it. Yeah, no, that's no. right. I am going to put it all around here to to have a, to enjoy them. There that's you right. go. Yeah. I have here my ring. This is an earring. I have another one inside. Oops. And I am going to convert that in a dangle. Maybe even to put one here, not in this one, but in this one. Like this. Oh. Oh, look I, at that. I have you could two. make a banner. String them together. Yes. Oh, that's that's what pretty. I mean. To do. Ooh, that's pretty. Maybe I can do it now. That would I be have funny. Here some rings. Let's grab Oops. a ring. Let's grab this. It's already open, so I don't need even to open. Maybe I can put it here. Yeah, through the bead. And now I can put it here and close it. I, I might need my this to do it. You know that you need to close by the sides and not open uh, open to the side too. This was open already, so. You're not on screen, hun. Oh, sorry. Thank you. 
Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, where's my page? Now this is going to go out because <laughs> I need to put some blue here. Because the the weight of this took that out. What can I say? That's my life. I want to demonstrate something and I have problems here. So now I need to use this kind of beads all around and it's already one done. It's looking good. Yeah. Okay, that one like that. <sighs> I have this. I, I didn't use that. So what I do is to let's do one with the straw because with the straw I can do the the wire, put it from one end to the other. Sorry, ran Oh, I couldn't read my. I need to read what my uncle said because he is in a bad place now. Your uncle is again? Oh. <laughs> Those are the pickles. He sent me the pickles as Iranian missiles. <laughs> oh. I thought, I thought, uh, that she he he was telling me something important <laughs> about the situation. Is he near the where the missiles are coming down? Yes, he is in Beersheba. So Beersheba oh. is the city that one of the cities that the missiles came down. But they don't came down because they were rejected before. Yeah. So I cut this three so i have a decent castle now i need to put the wire for the let's do with this one no this one is for tassels i need a big cup but i need one i don't have it here i might need to go and fetch one because oh maybe i can put uh, only bits in one and in, in the two ends well, i have a lot of things here i have this this are i'll not pandora i made it <laughs> but they are pandora like well, let's use them oh. Cool. Yeah. Oh, all right. So I decided to do it a different way. I'm going to make myself big here. Okay. So just poking the needle through my crochet hook is still bigger than the needle I wanted to use that I used to punch the holes. So I ended up using this itty bitty tiny hole punch. I punched holes and they were not equal, but I did manage to get them along the edge. So I just kind of wrapped this uh, fuzzy stuff through. So it just gives a different kind of a edging. You can't really even see how fuzzy it is because the the threads, the eyelash threads are very, very fine. You can see it better in the ball, but it is an eyelash yarn, but it's very, very translucent when it's down on this, for sure. So that's what I did. Uh -oh. I managed to uh, use the crochet hook to run it around and through. And of course, a couple of the places ripped, so it's uh, definitely a shabby dabby. <laughs> <Something>. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but it's fun and fuzzy. <laughs> Baby Bojo. Yeah. Come here, Hey, Queen. How are you, hon? I am adding stuff to this journal because it's kind of a boho y kind of journal, all kinds of things in it. No. So I'm just uh, adding a bit of wildness to it, not that it's common. Miriam is making some beads, and Anne is doing a journal. Well, we and think I so. Lost anyway. my bead. Oh no! I lost the other bead. Oh. It'll turn up, Miriam. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> <laughs> you said that I put this up, and it jumped to me. <laughs> there you go. Your little bead miracle for today. Yeah. I'm putting gold uh, paint pen on the edge of my tag that I did before because I didn't like that plain border. I think it's making a mess, but it'll be okay. <laughs> Might hold the silk down a bit more. Then I'll declare it done for now and it can go live with the other tags over there. Oh dear. The paint marker is really good, but man, is it stinky. Hi, Woo. Yeah, some of them are, I've noticed. This is what I do with my husband's old golf magazines. I make them my glue messy things. Oh, awesome. I should do that with those train magazines. There you go. I, I do wait until he says he's done with it, though, because I'm nice that way. Well, yeah, me too. But, you know, so I, mean, so I cut this so one off to make it a belly band. Oh, dear. And I got gold paint on it. Well, then. It's going to get some more gold paint. This is how you fix your mistake. You just add some more. Add some more mistakes. That's right. Now it's intentional. There was somebody, who was it? Oh, I think her name was Shirley Adams. She was a sewing teacher on PBS Forever, and she would say, there are no mistakes. There are just opportunities for embellishment. I like that. That should be my motto. <laughs> Hi, Joni. Nice to see you. Hi, Joni. When in doubt, you can always add a chicken, right, Kim? <laughs> yeah. When in doubt, add a chicken or a fish. Or a fish, but you know, I like chickens, so. Yeah. Okay, now it intentionally has gold dots on it. This is going to be a belly band. All right. If I remember that that's what it is. I have to actually put them in boxes or I forget what they were. And then I whack up all the belly bands to make tags, and then I don't have any belly bands. So. <laughs> oh, I do that too. I've got no, I, because I do them and I put them in their own separate envelopes. Then I know what they're going to be when they grow up. Oh, that's a good idea. I like to, yeah, I did that with now Jane Austen journal. I think I used the boxes. I don't remember, but I'm I made so too enough. many. So I have enough to make like two more of those if I wanted to. Really? That's awesome. Does anybody else like make one thing and then you don't want to do it again? Yes. That's, I think that's why I usually do things in multiples as well. I, I still have that um, have to have inventory mentality because of selling. Uh-huh. That it's, you know, I usually have three or four or something. But, you know, I don't know. I used to do that when I when my daughter was young and I would make her like four dresses or five dresses at a time. Oh, I would yeah. cut them all out at one time and like do all the collars at one time. Do all yeah, the like production sewing, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I did it's that. easy when they're little. You don't have to like fit them. <laughs> that too. Yeah. I mean, I used to do everybody pajama pants for Christmas. Mm -hmm. so that was for eight pairs of pajama pants for every like to do and it was the same thing i'd lay them out cut them all sew up the side seat you know mm -hmm. it was just so much easier doing it production style yeah it was it was faster yeah and i like fast me too <laughs> i'm a very impatient person <laughs> me too <laughs> I think that's why I like doing the bits because they're done, right? Uh -huh. yeah, done. So I 
punched three holes and I just did a little bit of a crochet thing here for a, I don't know. Now I've got this long string. I'm going to put a bead on that because it's fun. Well, I think too, don't you just want to get onto something new? Um, yes and no. Like, because I'm just opening this bead thing. Um, with me, because I've got so many things that are kind of like my trademarks, my fish, my chickens, my goonie birds, uh, my flower collage, even though, I don't know, I, I just, there are some things that I just like to have on hand because I use them. Mm hmm I do that, but I have to organize them or they drive me crazy and I lose them. Ah. So I have little boxes full of things. Which makes sense, too. Yeah. So I had so many little boxes, I had to buy a shelf to put all the little boxes on. I use the mushroom boxes. I've got them everywhere. <laughs> they don't stack up nice because they don't have lids. That's a problem. They would end up on the floor here if I did that. You're impatient, too, Sherry? I don't know what the heck that is. I think it's your brain. It's a creative brain. You just want to go and do it and get it done. And yes. <laughs> because your brain never quits, right? There's right. always something going on, something new that you have to try. Uh -huh. But I am learning now. Let me tell you. I am doing the, the miniature well, and you cannot do it all at once. No, you, you have to try. Like and things like that. So, yeah, I, I am learning. <laughs> Isn't it funny how no matter how old you are, you can still keep learning something? Like <clears throat> when you're 20, you think by the time you're our age, we would have it all figured out. You you and you know that uh, saying that say, don't, you cannot, uh, teach new tricks to uh, an oh, old God. dog. Yeah. It's not true. No, it's not. Unless My, that old dog refuses to learn. No, they, they cannot refuse because if you do it well, they you condition them to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah the dog. I meant people. Yeah. But they can. I, I did that with my my eldest dog that it's uh how much i think it's 13 and wow. she didn't use because uh, i i i didn't uh, teach her to sit to to wait for their food like uh, if I, I i want to to give her food the little one knows that she needs to sit right then i give the, the other one, no. And now I'm teaching her that, and I see the results. She does that. Mm -hmm. And if she forgets, I put the like the, the, the meat or whatever in my hands. And when she didn't do that, I do like that. Only this. Yeah. So she sits. Yeah. Food is a great motivator. It is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But some people refuse to learn. Yeah. They're boring people. Hi, Anina. I worked Hi, Anina. I liked your flower picture Hi, on Nina. Instagram. How are you? Okay. Yeah, I that's have another wonderful. earring here. Not mine. I receive a lot of jewelry, broken jewelry. See? Yes. yes. With ring stones and uh, whatever. Ooh, so I, I have a friend that sent me an entire box of broken jewelry bits. It was so fun. Wow. What did you do with them? Oh, I put them in boxes. <laughs> <laughs> she put it in little boxes. It, yes. it, it, See, it was a, I'll show a you. Large box. Is that in pit camera? See, here's yeah. one of my little boxes. Okay, let's make you big. Hang on. Okay. Can you see that? See? Yeah. I have these little boxes. I can't get it yes. in camera. I'm a dork. There you go. There you go. Okay. So anyway, I get these little boxes at the beginning of this, well, before school starts. 
Yeah. They're less than a dollar usually. And they stack up. Yeah. So all my little bits are in little boxes or the itty bitty boxes that become in that come in those photo boxes. They're really nice for little tiny things. Awesome. And then I have shoe boxes for bigger. I love boxes. I just love having things in boxes. Me too. Although but I do use, I have used some of the broken jewelry and assemblages or whatever. The Kim. Yes. But, Kim you know, someone was just throwing it away when she was driving past a garage sale that was ending and they were just throwing away all this jewelry. Some was broken, some wasn't. Oh. That's so awesome. she grabbed it and say, gave me some, which I thought was very nice. Yeah. Maybe we need to do a day where we use up some of that broken jewelry and do some fun things with it because i have lots as well oh i'd like to see what you do with it and what miriam does with it yeah, yeah. i that am could be our bling right now. maybe that could be our bling day it could be oh, yeah. except i'm not going to be here for bling day oh darn it well we could postpone it we could we could because no one can tell us when we have to do what right that's right that's right that's right. We're free agents. Exactly. Emphasis on the free. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, look, I found a silver. Maybe people in the chat have some ideas for broken jewelry. Yes, ladies yes. in chat. I don't think we have any gentlemen here today, but ladies in chat, if you had broken jewelry, how would you use it? Joni says, me too, Anne. I would love to have a container store. To No, to work in a container, in a container. store. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> I love to go in there and just look. <laughs> I haven't been for a long time, but ooh, the happiest day I took my daughter to something, drove her and some uh, cohorts to a thing. And so I was down in D.C. and there was a container store nearby and it was after Christmas and they were having a big clearance sale. I was like in seventh heaven. I don't think we've got container stores here. Like they're Walmart. rather pricey, but oh my goodness, the organizational stuff they have. You can go in there and just get ideas. That's where I got the idea for the the little plastic pencil cases, which is what those are theoretically. Yeah. And like in July and August, here at least in the States, sometimes they're two for a dollar where the container store they were like ten times that much probably. Huh. But it's a great place. You can look online. It just gives you lots of ideas of ways to organize things. And labels. Do you like labels, Joni? I like labels. Me too. Otherwise, I spend all day looking through the boxes going, what's in here? What's yeah, in yeah. Here? I like hats and purses. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't even carry a person. Hi, Maxie. Hi, Maxie. It's Maxie's birthday tomorrow, guys. Yeah. Maxie, I would sing for you, but it would be not nice. So I would. Yeah, me too. <laughs> be <laughs> thankful. Let me show you my other favorite box. So I got my husband to start drinking, like, you know, crystal light stuff. But yeah, I found out that the do. Walmart brand comes in these square containers Ooh. that stack. <gasps> and so I have a cubby hole type shelf up here and yeah. they go in like this. Ooh. And these are basically free. He drinks the stuff. Wow. I, And when they arrive, this is only has like, oh, I don't know, maybe eight little packets of the stuff. So I take one of one pot take them and dump them out into a, another little shoe box bin <laughs> and take all the containers but it's a great way to store markers and stuff yeah there's my free free box for you i think that's why i, I like the uh mushroom boxes yeah that they're such an odd size like they don't hold markers very good. They tip over because they're so light. But for little bits of things, they work really good. And we all know I got lots of little bits. I was in the grocery store, oh gosh, I don't even know how many decades ago. And the man was loading up the cheese department, you know, the yeah. refrigerator case. And he had these boxes that are like, they're about 
13 by 13 squares with a closable, reclosable lid. Oh. I asked him for them. He said, well, what do you want them for? And I said, well, I want to store quilt squares and I don't know. I just want to store things in them. They look like a good size. He said, okay, come back uh, this afternoon and I'll save them for you. Nice. So it got to where every time I came in the store, I would see the dairy man and he would say, do you need more boxes yet? <laughs> awesome. I thought they were other awesome boxes. I don't only really have about three left now, but. I found that this is not even broken. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's make you big. <sighs> Yeesh. Okay. What's well, not broken? Okay. This one is not broken. Now, I don't want to take it apart. <laughs> yeah. That's my that. problem, always. But Miriam, you could give it to someone for Hanukkah. Put Hanukkah it in a pretty is, box. Hanukkah would be in December. Yeah, well. <gasps> okay, somebody's this, birthday. I did this too in the meantime. Maxie, guess what you're getting for your birthday tomorrow? <laughs> oh, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it in a box. <laughs> hey, I think Maxie would rock that necklace. I think so too. Oh, yeah. I, I he could do it. He could carry it off. Yes. Well, I am going to. Bim, bum, bum. Did you finish that project? Don't say what it was, because for no, Maxi. I, I don't even started that. I did something else. <laughs> I oh, okay. I did I did a stencil. No, I already gave him that. Oh. I did a stencil with his design. Oh, neat. I am Perfect. going to show you. Let Ooh. me show you. Now you should sell us the design, Miriam, and then you give him the money. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Let Maxi sell them, and then we'll all buy them. We could even oh. buy just the digital download. <gasps> oh. Oh, I cannot find it. I, I, I don't believe it. Maxie I did it does today. <laughs> and I cannot find it. I have two or three of, of the of his design. Yeah, he does. Well. He does neat design work. Okay, let's see if it's yeah, it's here. Wow. Yes, here. Oh, I like that. I can't see. And it I yet. did. Oh, there it is. Oh, neat. Yeah. I love it. I took it from one of the of things that he made for me. And uh, I did it and today I cut it. So he was so pleased. I like a lot of his graphic designs. Yeah. Yes. So there you go. It should be Maxi shop on Etsy or coffee or something. Could be. Now I lost my beads or no? No. I lost the place where I was <laughs> cutting it. <laughs> Here I am. Again. Okay. Sometimes it's too hard to cut the, the chains. I don't know which material is there. I cut it. So now I have three of them apart. And I'm going to put a ring on it. Maybe a bigger ring, like this one. And I'm going to put that in my straw one. So I put that in here, so everything dangles, and um, this is the straw one, no, where are you, here, I'm going to put here, okay. I like the earrings on there, 
Yeah. Yeah. Very cute. I like it. Okay. So let's do another one. Everything here. I cannot breathe. <laughs> wow, I love your desk, Miriam. It looks like mine usually does. Yeah. <laughs> and you need to see my floor. <laughs> I can imagine. You don't want to see mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, 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 I got have something to show you. If I am big, let's You're big. use it. Let's use it. We should have a, a game where we all post pictures of our floors and see who wins the <laughs> most colorful floor uh, award. We yeah. should. This or is a, a matching game. Huh. Whose floor is that? Oh, that's pretty, Miriam. That is very pretty. This is another one, Kuminimo. Another one. What are those for? Huh? What are you using those for? Oh, uh, for instance, this one is already a bracelet. You put uh, bead caps and uh, something dangling, and uh, you can have a bracelet. Yeah. Okay. That's cute. And I, I have already, I have a necklace with that. See this one? I did it with beads. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Yes. Miriam, did you braid? What is the purple one made out of? Hi, Kevin. Uh, nice to see you. Hi. It's called Kuminimo. Is it it's crocheted? Like, no, it's a disc with uh, like indentations oh. and you put the strings and have a hole. Oh, it's called, the, like, you, we call that corking, yeah. Ah, okay, that. And here is another, another bracelet that it's made with the same, but only with beads. Whoa. Like beads and, and tans and uh, fish. Lots of work. Yes. I have a lot of them. This one also I did with only this kind of... Um, this is wax, wax uh, string, like the one you use for oh, binding. And I did with this. A lot of... Uh, a long time that I don't do kuminimo. They look this like one, very tiny beads. See, we've got all things like that, that we do them and we put them away. And yes. <laughs> I mean, my, yes, so right. It, it's just amazing. You know, those are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, and you don't see the shimmer. They are like, yeah, I love to do them, but uh, as you say, then you need to use them. Yeah, see, I was thinking maybe they were like journal closures or yes, if you were you using right. them for those things in the hair. I, I was talking about them one day, um, a lot of uh, hair wrap things. What are they yes, called? yes, yes. Right, so that you put it in like with a braid or something? Or the board there, yes. No, these are more like hair dangly things. What are they called, guys? Hair pieces, hair? Ah, like, uh, the braid? Then, yes, I know, I know what. Like people, if they've got dread, yeah, extensions, yeah. extensions, yeah. right? Yes, you can put that on your hair with a rope. That would be lovely. I need to use this. That's nice. Let's use it. Is that metal? Yes, it is. All metal. But it's broken, so I can use part of it. I don't mind to broke it more. Yeah.
I don't mind, but it minds. Don't let me. <laughs> Okay, that's it. And I am can do it by here. Thank you for sharing, Kevin. Okay, now we are talking. That's pretty. That's so nice. is that all linked together? Yes, they are all linked together. One, two, now that. Yes, one, two, three, four, five rows. Oh my, okay. Yes. Whoa. Okay, Joni. Joni's making a smoothie for lunch. Yum. And I have another one here, or is the same? No. It's the same. It's different from the other side. Once. It seems that it had in the past some bits in in that maybe because it's so different. Anyway, I can use it as it is. <laughs> so I am just making page tabs. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> I'm going to go back for a minute. Uh, okay. So I did the, the wrap around this page with that fuzzy stuff. And then I decided to do some crocheting and turn it into a page tab. It's got a few beads on it. And I've done a second one. Now I just punched holes to do a third one. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of uh, fuzzy, dangly page tabs on this thing. And you know what? I don't even know what pages they're marking. I'm just picking a page at random, putting holes in it, and doing it. Because there's no rhyme or reason to this journal. <laughs> Kim, do you put your signatures together before you put all the goodies on them? Whoa. It depends sometimes. This is a magazine journal. This was a National Geographic. Hmm. And what I did was the way Shelly from Crafting Mamas does them. She takes the pages and she folds them in half and puts them down. So I did that with the National Geographic and then I put painty papers on both sides of the uh, page. Uh -huh. And then I, this is, this like I say, this is my peace, love, understanding and sarcasm. So these ones, I, I've just been working straight in because it's a journal already. It's put together. Um, but I do have those signatures that I work on when we're playing throughout the week, right? I have like little signatures that I've, I've got started. Um, who the hell is the other one? Pardon the language. That's not what I meant to say. <laughs> heck, 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 Kim. Heck, sorry, ladies, if I offended anybody. It just kind of slipped. I don't even know where it went. But yeah, no, I, like I've got those signatures that I did up for Jean, and then I had extras from when I sent them to her. So I used them, like the one that we put all the page tabs in, right? Mm -hmm. So then I will take those and put them into a journal. Um... Let me grab this journal because I did the signatures before I put it in this journal. So yeah, sometimes yes, sometimes no. This journal, I did the signatures all before I put them in. The rainbow yeah. journals same thing i did the signatures and i just have to put them together but the one in the is it here the one that i'm doing the day planner there they are there they are okay sorry guys i'm hunting you know hunting see the day planner i have to do the way i'm doing this one that because all the pages are fixed in, 
I have to work in the journal. But I've got uh -huh. these little signatures, and I love doing the little signatures, and I'm just doing them up and then putting them together. This is the one we did with the page tabs. So I've just been adding more stuff, a little bit of stitching and things, because it's already here for us to do, right? That I just... I can just add as I go along. It varies. Um, I, I have no rhyme or reason for things. <laughs> That's my way of making things. Just whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, but I it gets me it. into trouble sometimes because like that with that Jane Austen journal. Yeah. I did it, bound it, and then I put all the bits in it. And then all of a sudden it was, you know, alligator mouth. Alligator mouth, yeah. Well, so I think I'm not gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna stuff it and then bind it. Does that make sense? Just so I know yeah. how much room to I give have, it. I have so many pockets and everything in here that are not stuffed. This is probably gonna be twice the size by the time. You've got a growing pile of stuff by your table, itching to get to it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Janine. Um so yeah, by the time this one is stuffed, it's going to be gator. We haven't even decided on what kind of a cover I'm going to do for it yet. Which isn't bad. That's not a bad thing, is it? I don't know. No, I don't think it's a bad thing. The thing, though, like, for me, because we don't always... I use all my own work. Uh-huh. 90% of the time I use my own work in them, right? Yeah. So... That's hours and hours and hours of little bits. Mm -hmm. I just grab and add and don't even think about. But if I added up all those hours, I'm giving my journals away for what I exactly. I know a good one takes a long time. It does. It does. I okay. learned that the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> this wee beastie, I have no clue how long it took to do it. It's got four signatures. Each signature has, what, eight pages or more in them, plus all the pockets and everything. I have no idea what I would even ask for something like that. No clue. No clue. And I mean, yes, I can give it away. I usually give my stuff away. We know that. But, you know, you can't give people more than one journal because they look at you like you're on glue because <laughs> they, they, they say they're going to use them and then they never do. I'm not pointing any fingers. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. So you put all that work into it and you hope that they're going to use it as a journal and appreciate it. But, you know, you know, guys, you know. That's true of most things you give people. You don't know. No, if they're gonna, I had one daughter-in-law who's now an ex-daughter-in-law that when they were moving, I went to help and found that there were at least two dozen dresses I had made for my granddaughter still in the shipping box. <gasps> and they were in the Goodwill pile. Oh. oh, I snuck them into my trunk and gave them to my best friend's girl, uh, grandchildren. Oh, how, how horrible. Horrible, she horrible. didn't even give them to the child. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. that's really heartbreaking because a lot of that is, is a lot of work. And yeah, the love, because that's just it. You know, people don't understand. It's not just the work and everything that goes into it, but you make a gift for somebody. You are thinking about them while you are working on it. Mm -hmm. So they are in your mind the whole time. And, and the fact that I wanted my grandchild to know that I was thinking of her. Exactly. I mean, I could have just gone and bought dresses for her. Yes. Yes. That's not the point. No. That's right. That's right. No. And if you're not going to put them on the child, at least tell me so I'll quit doing it. For sure. For sure. I I had a friend who... Uh, daughter ex-daughter-in-law the same thing please stop making things for my child i don't appreciate handmade goods because they're not worth as wow. much, right so 
needless to say, broke my girlfriend's heart. And uh, her granddaughter never realized how much, you know, this, this woman actually loved her and cared mm -hmm. about her. I you think know? that was part of the problem is that her, the daughter-in-law's family doesn't do that kind of thing. They don't sew, right. they don't make. Right. right. And so if it's something they don't do, yeah, then she doesn't want it around. Well, yeah, exactly. And I mean, we all know that I'm just trying to make myself small. I lost my cursor again. Okay. We all know that handmade is better quality 99.9% .9 of the time than store bought, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they just, I don't know, people who don't create don't understand. I am very fortunate that my kids grew up with homemade Christmas. There were a couple of Christmases that for some reason or other, I ended up purchasing gift, gifts. And my kids have actually said, remember that Christmas we didn't get, we didn't have a Christmas? <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> get their handmade stuff wow and even my grandkids they love the quilts and everything because they know they know how much work goes into it yeah but not everybody is that way yeah one of my daughter-in-laws you know the one that asked for the blue and orange quilt her she wants me to make quilts for the, her other two but the two that are the children of the ex-daughter-in-law yeah I'm not making them quilts until they're out of her house. No, no. Because that's months of work down the it drain. Is. And it is. And in a case like that, I might even make them, but keep them put away for them. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Right? With, a, with a note saying how much you appreciate them and you made this with your heart kind of thing, just in case they don't understand either, right? But that's a great idea. That is a great idea, Kim. That way, because by the time they move out, who knows? You right. Past the stage of wanting to even do quilts, right? Yeah, they're getting to where they're physically hard to do in some cases. Yeah. When they get big. Yeah, for sure. So I mean, I would I would do that. I would make them and put them away for them. Because I don't want the other I have another one, my oldest daughter in law. I made her kids quilts when they were six or so six or eight you know bed size quilts yeah because i made them baby quilts but i don't want those other two to be the only ones that don't have one eventually so. exactly exactly because you want them to know that you cared about them enough as well yeah right they I know when, when my husband we were moving his stuff out of his mother's house we found a handmade quilt between his mattress and box springs oh it had been under there well, for 20 years, and it was made by his grandmother for him before she went blind. Oh. And his mother had used it to protect the box springs. Oh. I was so upset. Oh, for <laughs> sure. For sure. I, I mean, I grew up with, like, treasuring my great aunt's quilts, you know, just. Yeah. For sure. Joni said that uh, they would be good graduation gifts. Hey, Teresa. Yeah, good idea, Joni. Maybe from college. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want them going to college with them. Well, that's why I made that blue and orange one so big so it would fit on a college bed. Yeah. I want them to use them, though. You know, I told, exactly. them, I told them that when I made the baby blankets. Yes, this is handmade, but I want the kids to drag them around. Yeah. I want them to use them, not just put them in a box somewhere. Yeah. Although one of them... The one, the daughter-in-law that wanted the blue and orange one for that boy. She asked me to make one to hang on the baby girl's wall. <laughs> I was like, Aww. okay. Because she bought a really pretty panel, you know, a pre-printed okay. panel. Yeah. yeah. Just wanted it bordered. But now she wants a king-size quilt for their bed. And I'm like, ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got a king-size bed now. And I'm looking going, I really need to make a quilt for this. Because you just can't buy one that fits nice, right? Right. And it's like, okay, so then I've got to get the sewing machines fixed for sure. And then I have to clear off my entire cutting table so that I can have it so that it's not creating extra weight on the needle, right? When you're working mm -hmm. on it. It's going to be a monster. 
Joni makes really pretty quilts. She does. She really, really does. Tree said that so too. Anyone can run to the store, but not everyone loves uh -huh. you to make something. That is so true. Very true. But you know what? When you have boys, it really is up to their wife lots of times. Yeah. What happens. Yeah. That's yeah. what I found. <laughs> but, that so was I accidentally my punched. What? That was my mom said. Uh. Ah. <laughs> So I accidentally punched holes in this paper that's going oh, to be right. a flop out. So now I'm putting gold thread in the hole. <laughs> Perfect. See, guys, we all do silly things and have to cover it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I punched a couple. And then I'm like, okay, well, I can't just leave that like that. So I punched some and more. You can embellish them. Yeah. yeah. They're just an opportunity for embellishment. Yep. So doesn't every journal need a page that has gold thread in it? Do you know what? If I liked gold, I would say yes. <laughs> it's what you don't like gold. <laughs> you know, I use gold. I use gold because it's so much easier to get like a gold gel pen and that uh -huh. kind of, you know. But uh, so I use gold because of that. But it's definitely not your cup of tea. No, no. Like, I mean, yeah, I've got a gold band, wedding band, but I cringed the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, it's funny. Like, Does your husband know that? Yeah. He knows I don't like yellow gold. I And I don't like brass. And why why is it you don't, you don't like, like brass? I, pardon? Why don't you like brass? Is there a reason? Uh, too glittery. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't like brass. Maybe and you'd like aged brass. Maybe it's prettier, I think. But but that shiny, no, I, I can't do that. It, it just makes me cringe for some reason. Well, don't and look at this gold thread because it is gold, baby. <laughs> 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 but I mean, he um did end up getting me like um. My the diamonds and stuff he got for our twenty fifth anniversary are in white gold. So he knows. He knows. But I mean, I'm I've had this ring for how many years now? I am not gonna take it off. He knows. But yeah, I'm just I'm just not. Did you I'm pick it to begin it. with, or did he pick it? Pardon? Did you pick your wedding ring, or did he? I actually did because my mom had a friend who was a jeweler and it was really cheap. Uh, I don't think, I don't, when we looked at ours, it was like yellow gold, white gold, or platinum, and that was that. Yeah. There weren't a lot of choices. He didn't have any white gold. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't mind a rose gold, but you know what? It's It's still... It's my wedding ring. I'm not going to. Yeah. Uh, You're not going to change it now. Oh, no. No, no. Wouldn't have the same meaning, would it? No. It wouldn't. That's a hard decision, I think, too, like estate planning and stuff. Who gets those things? You know, like, who are you going to? Yeah. Not my ex-daughter-in-law. That's for darn sure. No. <laughs> 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 she gets zilch exactly exactly <laughs> exactly some things we're actually starting to give to him now it's like you love gold hmm? Teresa, Teresa loves gold my mom gave me a gold bracelet so so beautiful and have a little heart that once was two half on a heart that one says M by Marcos, that was my father, and the other says O, that was my mother. Oh. And they have those half hearts uh, when uh, before they married, and when they married, my father 
pick a jewelry to put them together and put that them in a bracelet for my mother. So <gasps> lovely. Before That's one lovely. year, yeah, she was here and she gave it to me. Mm. So I have it now. That's That's a treasure. It is. It is. It is. Oh, yes. I wonder, this is a good question. Do you think creative people are more sentimental? I think so. Like, some people just really don't care about things. Yes. Wait, I, I have to think about that. <laughs> I agree very much. I am very sentimental and I consider myself creative. Um, Maybe because we look at things differently than just thing a thing. Yeah. Yeah, could be. I don't know. I'm very pragmatic, not sentimental. There are things that, yes, I you see. cannot, but. No. Nope. Nope. Hello, Susan. Uh, yeah. Teresa. Hi. Um, Teresa, I didn't say hi. Teresa, uh, what do you wish you could do again? I wish you I are I creative, I Teresa. You, you can't tell me you just try. You are creative. I've seen your work. Now I need to be creative. Yeah, Teresa, what are you talking about? You know what, Susan Cordes, we were talking about what to do with old jewelry. I bet you have some ideas. Yeah, because we've all got broken jewelry in our stashes. And we we're thinking of doing a group, what to do with your broken jewelry, like one of our Sunday play dates. And so we asked folks what they thought would be a great use for broken jewelry. So we would love your take on that. Old broken jewelry. I am in travel now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Let's make it big. Let's see. I use, I use all my broken jewelry now. I need to broke some jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Put up a sign in your neighborhood looking for broken jewelry artists. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you might get some. Yeah. Yes, maybe. I might. The uh, person that assists me with my house, she is the one that brought me like uh, not only jewelry, she brought me kids dresses like this perfectly oh good dresses that she received as gifts and she brought me to me everything wow is from there. yeah see people once they know now susan's yeah. giving us some ideas here yeah sherry's got her mom's old rocking chair it's in her garage covered in plastic Oh. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. My thing was is my dad made furniture, so things that he made I had a really hard time parting with. But you can only take so much, right? So we ended up selling like the coffee table and end tables that he made out of teak. Wow. Duh. But <laughs> it's it's just like, I've got the dressers and stuff that he made, but, yeah, I, I just, it's really hard to, uh, to park. Yeah, can't do it. And I mean, just about, like, all my bookcases are on belt. So, yeah, I'm sentimental about them. Wind chimes, any thingies. Yeah, Malia, wind chimes are a cool one. Okay, who's going to write down all these ideas? Someone uh -huh. to write these down. Are you guys pointing at me? Can I? 
<laughs> I guess yeah, we're pointing. <laughs> I'm looking down. Shape of a Christmas tree. Yeah, that's a cool idea. I've seen that. I would like to do something a little bit wilder than. I just use one of the caps of the leaves. Sorry. Yeah. This one. Now I am putting. This is an earring piece because yeah. Yeah. I couldn't. Uh, I didn't bring my other thing. Yeah. So you you use what you have. I don't know where it is. It's not near me. And now that I did that, I am going to put the other thing. Where is it? I cannot find it. Yes, here I found it. I have mm -hmm. all this to put. This is one thing. Or I have this kind of things with diamonds. Gold or diamonds? What is Diamond. better? Diamonds. Diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. I knew. <laughs> Don't ask Diamond. me. <laughs> Diamonds with silver. Yes. Let's pretend that they are diamonds. Hey, what if you had broken jewelry and then you find out one of them actually is a diamond? You know what? Oh, well. Oh, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> and, then I, and then I thought, ah, I didn't even check to see if these were gold earrings or not, right? <laughs> and I put them on front of this little journal. Not thinking. <laughs> So, you know, I'm at this stage, well, oh, well, so. My know, journal are worth it. But the, the thing is, is I do have a friend who thrifts. She always buys the jars of broken jewelry and then she sells the gold. She's made men's cufflinks. She had a pair of men's cufflinks took them into the uh, jeweler and she got a check for 600 bucks for him and she paid two for the jar. Wow. Of jewelry. So, mm -hmm. you know, they could be gold. I don't know. Could buy a lot of paint with that. Could yeah. be. Could be. Don't care. They're on this journey. <laughs> Somebody else can take it apart. And, yeah. Too late now, right? Yeah. Too late now. Anyway, you don't like gold. I don't. I don't. But she really hates brass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was, we had a brass chandelier in this house when we bought it. I was so glad when we finally got rid of that thing. I, all, I did a happy dance, seriously. <laughs> and my poor husband likes brass, right? Like, poor Ron. <laughs> He has to put up with uh, my taste in decorating. Isn't that often the case? Yeah. Yeah. You know that that sign that you see on some of the memes? Husband not allowed to choose paint color yeah. without note from wife? Yeah. Ooh, Tiffany bracelet. Awesome. 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 Wow. But no, she takes, you know, takes the jewelry, the gold jewelry in and uh, she doesn't, you know. I have a, a ring that I got somewhere, I think in a pawn shop or some weird place I was in. And it's really big and it's beautiful, but I took it into a jeweler I trust when I was in Tucson one time and I wanted him to switch out the stone. And the jeweler came out from the back and he said, I want you to understand before I do this, that this is a handmade original. And he knew the name of the jeweler. It's an art deco piece. And I'll do it if you really want me to, but it's worth, and he told me like $10,000 or something. 
as is, even with a scratch in the stone. Yeah. I was wow. like, oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll just wear it with the scratch. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah it's, it's really pretty. Uh, there was a, this shop or something. I think it was a shop. Like in some small town, and there were two different rings by this same jewel, famous jeweler. Wow. It wasn't Tiffany, but it was of the same era as Tiffany. Wow. I was wow. like, cool. well, okay then. I don't, I've only worn them a couple times because they're big and they're pretty fancy. Go big or go home kind of jewelry? Yeah, they're beautiful though. One of them has like, uh, it's rose gold. And it has like calla lilies beside this big stone, and I think it's rubies inside the calla lilies. Oh, wonderful. if I remember right. Yeah, I mean they are they are really, and they were like thirty five dollars or some dumb thing like that. Now I felt kind of bad after I found out what they were, but oh well. Yeah. So now I'm fixing more holes and putting a pocket on a page. <laughs> Excellent. So it'll be a pocket on one side and a flip out on the other. But it won't be for Kim because she doesn't like gold. <laughs> I can Not respect that. Me. We'll keep all your gold for you, Kim, okay? All right. Joni all right. and I will keep all the gold. Because we like gold. Let's do I don't know what it is. I, I have no idea what it is, why I don't. Isn't that funny how you just have these things and you don't really know why? It's just. Yeah. I always wonder if it's some deep seated thing. Like, did you have a teacher that was wearing gold rings and was really mean to you or something? Mm. And you just don't remember it? You know, your conscious yeah, mind. You know, it could be. Who knows? Who knows? One of my aunts had a pinky ring that had uh, rubies and sapphires in it. And, oh, I wanted that ring so bad. She gave it to her grandchild. Isn't that rude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. It's okay. But then the, the grandchild didn't really like it and had it taken apart. I was like, oh, you silly woman. Yeah. I, uh, well, because my mom was from England, my, you know, grandma and stuff from England, they collected antique jewelry because you could go to the uh, secondhand stores, the, you know, and, and she, they would buy jewelry. And I have some lovely antique jewelry. My sister and I split it. We took turns, you know, you took whatever. But my kids don't want that jewelry. Really? So it's like... Do I take it in and have it sell it for the gold and then give them the money? Like, you know, find it, don't sell it for the gold, sell it as an antique piece of jewelry. Ah, uh, you get more for the gold, right really? There. Yeah, or find go to a bigger city where there's an antique market. Yeah, someone that specializes in estate pieces. Or go to Tucson and go to McGuire's. They're very good. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> They're like, you know, real jewelers, which have real jewelers in the back. and Yeah. My they'll make you something work. special just for you. Yeah. Or they'll tell you, don't be an idiot and break this necklace, this ring apart. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. You never know. No, you don't. You really, really don't. So these Unless you're an expert. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> hey, Kim, Teresa will take your antique jewelry. <laughs> cool. My daughter would buy it from you, I bet. Yeah. She wouldn't even ask you to give it to her. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, wild. And and some of this stuff, like, yeah. Of course, I don't wear it either because it's just not my style because it's dainty and, you know, 
gold and gold, but it's it's <laughs> it's, it's <much laughs> more dainty than than my style too. Oh, that's cool, Joni. Joni has a grandmother's high school ring from 1929. <gasps> Very cool. Wow. Hi, Raul. Nice to see you. My mom was here on my birthday and when she came to live with us, and she had my great Hi, aunt's Raul. engagement ring. Okay. So she just gave it to me for my birthday. Was awesome. Like, oh. No. Very awesome. The best birthday gift. Okay, so now I've made... A page with a pocket on one side. Don't look, Kim, it's gold. Oh, it's not that bad. And then it flips it. out on the other side and has some gold stitching. Too. Very cool. There we go. See, I'm I'm figuring out the flip outs, Kim. Aren't you impressed? Excellent. Excellent. Wow. That's so proud. Look, look at that beautiful tassel, Miriam. Can I make you? Let's make Joe uh, and big. So we can oh, make it. Miriam big. I got to find something else to make now. Oh, well, I okay. Miriam, I'm making you big. Show okay. us your castle. As I'm not big enough, huh? I like it. Okay. I have two tassels. One is finished. Is this one. So Lovely. I put this piece of jewelry with uh, this one is for like clipping so you yeah. can do it in there huh? and I that put look nice? here around and i did it with the the, the 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 lid of this one now i cut it and i have this one so i'm doing this tassel with this and i am going to put here something not gold <laughs> So this one I put with this wire. So I I I grab I wrap it. No, I put it around, and now it's in another in the other side. So that is to show you that you can use whatever you have. That, that was a bottle of shampoo from a hotel that I received from about. <laughs> and you can use whatever. I might use this one that is a piece that I made with uh, polymer clay. So it has a ring here so I can put like that. I can glue. I don't know what I am going to do, but I can do it. I can use it. I have this one. I need to do something with this one. I don't know yet what. Okay, go to Anne. Those are yeah. wonderful. <laughs> Those are wonderful. Anne, okay. Yes, ma'am. You ready? Here we okay, go. Sure, I'll show you what I did. So I cut apart the belly band strip that I showed you before on the advertising thing. So I have three belly bands now. Oh, that was not cut. Uh -huh. I didn't cut that one yet. Never mind. And then <laughs> I realized that the piece I cut off wasn't bad. It just, I didn't need it right there. So I cut it off and I added a little dangle. Okay. Mm. And now I have, and this one, I don't think it needs anything else. It's another page tab and it's the cutoff of this one, this tag. Fantastic. So that's what I'm going to do with those. And then I have, I took a bunch of scraps yesterday and basically, let's see if I still have a piece. Here's a piece of it. Um, just slapped them all down there. And like now I'm cutting it up. And these are just scraps from gel prints because I have a lot of gel prints. And now I'm going to work on turning it into a pocket. All right. But I'm trying to decide if it needs feathers. Does it want feathers on it? Or does it want lace on itself? Or does it want a die cut on itself? Is it All of telling the anyone else what it wants? All of the above. Mm -hmm. Do a cluster. All of the above in a cluster. Oh, there's an idea. Okay. I'll do that then. I didn't even think of a cluster. I don't really do clusters very much. So this will be entertaining. 
Okay. Because it's always fun. It's always fun. Yeah. To make a cluster? No. Teresa said, so does it feel fun with just three instead of ten? It's Whoa. less confusing. <laughs> it is less confusing. For me. But that's only me. I like the dynamic with everybody. I like the fact yes. that everybody comes to the table with something different yes. and different styles. Like that's I mean, this that's that's why I wanted to do like from the beginning is so that everybody can see people's different styles on how to do things so that you can come away knowing that there's no exact right way or wrong way to do it. And if you find somebody that would do it the way that you would do it, then you can feel more like, yeah, we could do it. Just do your own thing. Yeah. That, that you're not alone. Somebody else would do it your style, but you're always going to put your own twist on it. I'm gathering okay. lace. You're gathering lace. See, Thank you. Oh, I have boxes of lace. And bags of lace. I don't even brought my laces here. <laughs> Seriously, I pulled everything out to do boho beads and I haven't even touched it. It's just adding clutter to my desk. <laughs> you know how I work, guys. But doesn't it work like that sometimes? You think you're going to do one thing and then... Um, okay. No, Anne, I don't know that feeling. What? <laughs> <laughs> me neither. Me neither. I didn't finish. <laughs> I was going to say, you think you're going to do something, and then you do something completely different. I never you know how to start a cluster. Still, still I don't know. <laughs> I have the hardest time starting a cluster. What is the deal? I don't know. So I have learned something very important. What's that? Don't use eyelash yarn for threading beads <laughs> or needles. <laughs> I'm basically, whatever bead it goes through is the bead that I'm putting on. They don't match. No how, no way, but who cares? It's both. I always off. think, is eyelash yarn like somebody oh, made a mistake? I don't know. What? In the yarn making thing and it frazzled and they were like, we can't throw all this away. Let's sell it as eyelash yarn. Okay. That's yeah, awesome. I don't know. Like it's pretty, but it's a booger. It is. It is. I like it for embellishing things. Yeah. But usefulness? I don't know. I don't knit or crochet, so I don't really know. Except I tried to give some to my daughter who crochets, and she's like, no thanks, Mom. <laughs> So I don't know if that should tell me something or not. But. Well, it's a booger to use. It really is. Is it hard to crochet with? Um, it, It's not hard to crochet with, but you better not make a mistake because when you pull it back, it's going to not, and you're not going to Oh, get yeah. It. I've used it like sew it down on art pieces, but. Yeah. That's, that's all I do with yarn anyway, so. Probably yarn aficionados wouldn't like my idea. But. <laughs> <laughs> See, I get stuck. Now what do I do with this? I don't know. Sew it all together with that gold thread. <laughs> do some French knots. And so Are you rethinking the gold thing, Kim? No, I just know that you're using it and it, you've got it handy and I'm not sending you down a rabbit hole on a goose chase because... Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll make the final thing. French knots would be good with gold. Or a little copper doodad. Oh, yeah. Might... A little dangly. See, this is why I go like, okay, now what do I do with this thing? Like, I don't know. <laughs> You're not supposed to think when you have a cluster. You're just supposed to throw a bunch of stuff together, and that's what you've got. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thank you, Mother. You're welcome. <laughs> it's supposed to be a mindless, <laughs> relaxing thing. Oh, then why does it stress me out? Supposed to. It's supposed to stress her out? 
<laughs> so do we do a gold knot or do we do a gold dangle? What do you think? A knot would be less lumpy, maybe? Um, this is going to be one lumpy journal if I ever get it done. Oh, I love lumpy journals. Do you? Yeah. I think we'll go with the gold thread just to entertain you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Since you suggested it, I'll go with that, okay? Okay. We'll hope the feathers don't fall off. Now, this feather trim is one that I probably had for 20 years. And I have no idea why I bought it other than it was cheap. Well, maybe you want to do like a... One of those really cute fans with the fringes on it. Maybe, okay. I don't know. So I'm stopping at five of these silly things because I'm done with this yarn stuff. Oh, I do remember where I bought it, though. I remember. It was uh, in Mississippi. There was this weird store. It was really genius. He bought out, like, when a store's in a disaster or something. Okay. And they, you know, get insurance money. He yeah. would buy all the contents of the store from the insurance company. And then you bring them to these stores in Mississippi and everything would start out at 50% off whatever the tag said. Oh. And uh, then it eventually got to, after a couple of weeks, if, or if he had another um, store coming in, oh, I got a leather needle, holy crap. Um, it would go to 90% off. Wow. Then the final step was 95% off. Oh. And one of the stores he got in was a Joann's. Oh, no. oh, they had fabric and trims and zippers and everything you can imagine in a Joann's. Cool. And I was in there. Well, I bought things several times. And I was finally there the day it went to 95% off. And so I got every zipper they had just about and all these weird trims. And it was a whole cart full of this stuff. <laughs> And their cash register was not programmed to do 95% off. Oh. So finally they called the manager over and he said, all right, ma'am, what if I just say $20 for your cart? Is that okay? Uh -huh. I was like, sure, that would be fine yeah. if you're okay with it. It included a $100 cutting mat. Oh, wow. It was literally like a full-size grocery Costco type shopping cart full of sewing wow. stuff. So that's, that's awesome. where I know it was so fun. My poor oh. husband. Yeah. <laughs> when I came home, <laughs> I didn't buy elastic until I don't know. Oh, the pandemic, I had to buy a certain kind of elastic to make masks and surgical caps. Right, right. But other than that. Okay, so here's another question maybe we could do a day of using zippers. How you yes, use please. zippers in your journals or what you would make with zippers because I have a shoebox full of, it's bigger than a shoebox. I have a shoebox full of zippers plus extra. And I think that um, it would be good because if we go to a thrift store and we find something really cool that we just want the fabric for, what do you do with the zipper, right? So I've got a bin of zippers that I would love to do something, even though the teeth are gold or brass or whatever. Uh, I think that we need to figure out some sort of embellishments we could do with that. That would be a great Any idea, papers? especially short ones, because that's the ones I have left. Yeah. A lot of, well, not all that I have left. Another thing I need to ask to the neighbors. Oh. Zippers? <laughs> Yes. I've gotten things closed at thrift shops just for the buttons. Yeah. Oh, buttons? I have a whole bag. I received them, so I don't mind. <laughs> we I have buttons. buttons, too, but, you know, sometimes I really get... Oh, I screwed that one up. I think we should do that. Like, just pull something out and use it. You know, like... Or everyone could come to my house and I'll give them a bag of stuff and then they have to go home and make something with it. Okay. Oh, Johnny is going. Thank you, Johnny, for being hey, here. Bye, Bye, Johnny. Johnny. Nice to and see yes, you. Yes, probably I am a perfectionist, Johnny, maybe a little bit. That comes Not from really. Enjoy the sun. 
Um, now I just have a gnarled up mess of gold. Oh, well. That's okay. All that glitters. Um, so there's my cluster. I think it needs to be trimmed. What do you think? Nope. Like, should I cut it off there? No. Nope. Wrap it like this, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, like that? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to learn how to use a cluster yet. Thanks yeah. for coming, Joni. I'm going to tie it off. I did learn something yesterday. Cool. I can't find a glue that will attach. I was covering the backs of things with packing tape. Yeah. I can't get that stuff to glue to anything. No. Even weld bond doesn't work. Yeah, that's crazy. So don't do that. Yeah, packing tape. You have to sew it. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, well, now then, I know. Where were you yesterday? I had that brought I was on pet. <laughs> you were what? On pet. Oh. We got in the car in the morning and we wanted to go out to the lake to see ice break up. It's not breaking up yet. Ooh, I so, bet that's cool when it does, though. Oh, the sound of it's incredible. Does it sound like an iceberg calving? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The, the cracking and the booming and yeah, it's uh, really interesting. Uh, very haunting, very eerie, like yeah, it's anyway, it's not breaking up yet. It's so, not a good sound if you're walking on the ice, I bet. Well, no, no. So we went to a local, um, well, it's not local, but it's in Manitoba. It took about an hour and a half to get there from here. Mm -hmm. And hour and a half, maybe two hours, and it's right on Lake Winnipeg. They have a harbor where they have sailboats and stuff in the summer. Everything's covered in ice. The beach, though, the sand was all clear. There were people playing badminton and having fun on the beach, but all the water is still thick with ice. When Isn't we it cold on the beach? Yeah. Oh, but you're there Canadian. You don't care, right? Oceans. I mean, the water on the oceans is uh, uh, ice. It's not an ocean. It's a lake. It's ah, a big lake. that's why. So when we were on the walkway, uh, the breakwater that protects the harbor, um, looked over the side, and the ice is about a foot thick still. So it's still gonna be a while before it's breaking up. Wow. But, you know, you could be out in a t-shirt yesterday. It was nice. When we were in Iceland, the worst was the wind coming off the North Sea. It was so stinking cold. Yeah, yeah. It, it goes oh. across the ice and it, was, it gets cold. The Last year when we were out there for the breakup, we didn't take parkas because it was a beautiful day. But yesterday I had my parka on and it was way too warm to wear it because there was no wind. <laughs> mm. But no, it was lovely. It was a lovely day. Sounds like it. All okay, right. should I wrap the lace around the edge of this pocket or will that just interfere with the tag or whatever? No, you could wrap the lace around, make sure it's glued down, maybe put some paper over it so that oh. if it doesn't stick down good, it's... It's uh, good and stuck that way. Yeah, and also it will strengthen the pocket so that when you're putting things in and out of it, it will mm -hmm. have that added durability. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so what do we think? I like it. What do you guys think? I think that's wow. awesome. love it. That's pretty good for scraps, huh? Yeah, I love the scraps. I actually like my messed up knot better than the nice, neat one. Yeah. Oh, Kim, see, you inspired me again. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> hey. So I'll glue this down really well and then cover it with thin paper, thinnish paper. I'll just put another paper on the back. Because this is cardstock. Yeah. Okay. Just like a book page or don't use like a tissue, but like a copy paper or something. A thin copy paper. Yeah. Okay. This is how my fingers get yucky. Oh, you've seen my hands. You know, you know. Miriam, let's go big so that I can see what you're playing with. Oh, perfect. I am, um, first of all, this is the, the other 
Oh, look how stunning that turned out. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, Miriam, those are gorgeous. And that was this. <laughs> what are you going to use those for? Huh? What are you going to use those for? For this. This part. It's not a bed cup. It's a bottle of plastic. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, but... But uh, this, I think I am going to put in a, the... Um, I am going to do some... Um, what did I do with uh, Verses with... I have oh. some gin. <gasps> I, I'm going to do some boho verses. That's my dream uh, to do that too. And then I am... Oh, this is not... Oh, I have a problem, Houston. Okay, let's don't do this. <laughs> let's don't do this. <laughs> I'm going to do another one. <laughs> so this one is like that. I don't think I'm going to put this. Maybe, why not? I can put that around. So I, I never did that. I only saw it in YouTube. So let's see. Hey, Kim, you need one of those big tassels to put on your cursor so you can find I it. Do. I do. I do. I need a flashing cursor, something fluorescent. <laughs> my word. Yes. <laughs> I would love you are Miriam. Right. Miriam, huh? I would love to spend a day, you and me, playing Bohemian Purses. I would love to do that. Oh, we can do it even with uh, Zoom or something or FaceTime. Yeah, yeah. Because that sounds like fun. I've got okay. these. I want to show you these. I'm going to go big. Okay. I have these that I have to use. All my beaded hearts. Oh. Mm. Wow. So I have a collection. <laughs> and the only thing that I would like them on, we need to do a demo on boho purses. Yeah. And be yes. the hearts. Wow, wow. So I've got these that I need to use for something. You're right. They're sitting in the bin on the shelf. You need to use them. And so I've got those. And then this one I am working on. You know, I've got 950 projects. You guys know. This is a bigger one. So here's the point. And oh, yes. This, this one's a nice big one. And oh. it's got vintage buttons. These are vintage. But anyway, um, I need to make some purses so that I can use these darn beat these uh, hearts up. So I think we should have a play date. Somebody has to play with me to do these things because it's so much more fun. Well, thanks, guys. Of yeah, course. do it. Do it live, Kim. Do it live. <laughs> a marathon uh, beaded heart or beaded or boho purse live. Or do it in stages. Yeah, but then it takes more than one day. And how long does it take? You I know what know. we need to do? We need to find a tutorial or two. We need to cut all the pieces and then sew them and embellish them uh, together. See, what I was thinking, Miriam, is because I've looked at a lot of beaded purses, like um, boho purses on Pinterest. Yeah. So what I would like to do is find a pattern of the purse I like and then know what shape <laughs> it is, embellish it, and leave the seam bits and and then it, i think that um put it together after it's embellished 
Mind you, it'd be really heavy then, right? Oh, yes. it would, and you'd you'd risk hitting your beads. Right, right. I see what you you said. <laughs> you need to learn how to make the hearts. What am I teaching? I don't know. I don't know yet. I know. I know how to do. I don't have the patience to do it. Like you. But I mean, like these, they, they take a while to do, right? Mm -hmm. So I do have things that I will work on until it's done, but they're done and now they're just sitting here. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. What do you this... type put some um, sequence here? No. Oh, sequence? Sequence oh, is lovely. Sequence. Yes, I have, but I can't put it because the wire is too big. So, Miriam, then why not do, like I did on this tassel, throw the sequins onto a piece of the fabric going down the tassel? Yes, I can do it. Yes. And then I've got like little strands of beads in here and they've got a um, little bit of crocheting with uh, sequins, oh, sequins on. Uh-huh. I have those already done, not with sequins, but with beads. Yeah. I did that for a necklace. And I don't use uh, jewelry, <laughs> usually. Yeah. So I can do tassels with that. I can do purses with that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You're working on a beaded ornament cover, Tracy? Awesome. You could put a, one of the hearts on a jacket or something. I could. Yes. I, could, I should put one on my jean jacket. Yeah. Oh, oh, you are going to love it. You know, I have a tutorial but to do a boho a hat. Oh. There you go. <gasps> I would wear a boho hat. Yes, I can share that it. with you, and if you want, we can do it. Is Maxi it won't want. Is no, it it's, no, it's Jean one. Oh, the denim. Oh, 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 denim hat. I would love to play that. Yeah, it's really, really fancy. And, oh, even Maxi wants one. Oh, I'd like to see that. Me too. Well, does it work with old blue jeans, Miriam? Uh, it works with the uh, classic jeans. Yeah. Not, uh, not, not to be like. Um, oh, I think I like that sort of thing. Uh, stretch one. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. This one, let's see if I can find it because I saved it. I can show you the. Ah, I, I, I showed the Maxi the picture. So, a minute. I will show you. Okay. You are going to I'm, making you big. I'm making it big so we can see. Sombrero. It's like a sombrero? El sombrero. <laughs> mm. No, it's not like yeah. a Mexican sombrero. I told Maxi sombrero because he knows what it yeah. is. Yeah. Hat is sombrero in Spanish. Okay. Never mind which one. Let's put it bigger like that okay i want to put that bigger maybe, maybe. teresa okay. i'd love to see the beaded ornament cover that you're working on oh there let's see if you can see it can you see it yes very very pretty it is very boho but it is. Oh, yay. And you know what? Yes. We need to do that. We do. Yes. And, and we, need we need to. And then I could put like my 
funky flower I need thing. to do two of them so I can do it. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Miriam, did you use a pattern or did you make your own pattern? Sorry, Maxi was telling me something. I didn't hear you. I said, did you use a, a commercial pattern or did you just make your own pattern? No, they have, it's a YouTube tutorial. Ah. Oh, they already tell you how to do it. Oh, I can share with you the, the tutorial. Yes. And then we, we, we can have everything ready. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Teresa, yep. do you want to come on with us and show us? I'm uh, going to go big. Then I could put some flowers on my head. Oh. I have lots of old blue jeans saved. Me too, because I make denim quilts. You make denim what? Quilts. Oh, yeah. Oh. I've made one. Oh, all our beds had denim quilts on them. And, and the funny thing now is, is that my kids... Okay, Teresa, I'm going to uh, send you the link. Hang on. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Teresa's going to come on with us, guys. Oh, yay. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take my cursor over here. <laughs> Kim and her cursor. Oh, it's a cursor for a reason. It's a <laughs> curse, not a cursor. <laughs> oh, my word. I'm looking for you, Teresa. Hang on. Hey, ¿qué pasa, mamita? I started out to make a cluster and ended up with a flower. All sure. right. Even better. I want something. I don't know what. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, Teresa, it's in your uh, in messenger for you, hon. But yeah, then we could put fun flowers on them. I can have a floral one, and I can have a beaded one, and I can have lots. Of you lots. could make them for Christmas gifts, Kim. I could. They could be for boys or ladies, or men or ladies. They could. They could. My daughters would probably wear them. I'm not so sure about the grandsons. Maybe if you made like a baseball cap type. Yeah. No. I mean, no. one of them, one of them wears baseball caps. The other two do not. Mm. Silly boys. I know. Boys are whatever. Trees is here. Well, Hi, Hi, how are you? Good. Okay, so this is the ornament cover I'm working on. Wait, I'm making you big. Me, let me let me pour you in so you can see it a little bit better. Um, I use 11 out of seed beads, and mm -hmm. some of them are a little bit larger. These are like four millimeter beads in here. Yeah. And um, hang on, just a minute, let me pull it off, and you can see it better, can't you? Um, but this is what I'm doing. It's and at the but I'm almost finished with it. I got I got eight more angels to put around the base of it. Um, then I'll be done with it. And wow, this is this is what I'm doing. This that's lovely. Wow, lovely. These, these are little. Uh, these little ones right here are like little crystals, oh, uh, faceted mm -hmm. crystals on it, mm -hmm. and then. Then uh, I couldn't find my 11O seed beads and crystals, so I ended up using a 15O, which is much smaller than the 11O. Y'all know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it takes much longer to work with. Uh, I also used Fireline. Uh, 
for the beating part of it because it's so much easier. And when I'm not beating, when my hands get tired and my eyes get tired, I put my needle inside of my ornament. Oh, perfect. What a great idea. That way I do not lose it because it's a big eye needle. And as you can see, the center of it opens pretty well. Right, right. Uh, and, and I end up losing it and this one happens to be broken. So I'll get me a new needle, but, um, I, I just did that so you could see what I usually do with my needle, but I've got to get a new needle and put out here so I can work on it. But I, I, I'm, I wear needles out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you put that over that clear ornament? I do. I, I put it over any ornament I want. This is just the one I'm using for my uh, uh, cover to uh, hold on to it, uh -huh. uh, uh, to to work with it. And I I got me a stand. And you, I mean, it's something that you can put on your Christmas tree, or or you can just leave it sitting out all year long because it's called a Victorian ornament cover. And they make them in all different ways, but uh, me, I'm more of a simpleton, I guess, because I don't go with putting a lot of design in it and all that kind of stuff. So I guess I'm more of like a simpleton. Hi, everybody. Um, Ro wants to know if you're a Southern Belle. He loves your accent. Uh, yes, I guess I am. Um, Ro, I guess I am a, a Southern Belle. I live in Alabama. Um, so, yes, I guess I am a Southern Belle. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost as southern as you can get because they don't they don't consider florida to be southern they because there's so many people that move from the north to the to florida uh so they don't consider florida to be southern anymore <laughs> but um but that's okay uh, uh, so I guess I'm almost <laughs> as far south as you can get. <laughs> Cindy says what accent? <laughs> yeah, what accent, right, Cindy? What accent? <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Nice to see. You. <laughs> I used to live in Maryland, and uh, and and they used to say, "Where are you from?" I said, "I'm from Alabama." <laughs> <laughs> they live in Florida. <laughs> So it, it was fun, you know, and um, hi, Dana, how are you? Oh, Dana, I can't find my my uh, uh, my Christmas tassel. Do you have another one? Can I buy another one? Um, Alabama, yeah. Alabama, right? Alabama, right? Dana, are you from uh, the panhandle of Florida? That's what I want to know. Yes, Alabama and and Alabama and and Bama and you know. Oh, okay. I, I'll I'll send you the money for it. I don't mind. I I'm, I know it's here somewhere. I just don't know where I put it because I put so much stuff away. And I was I was working with my Christmas stuff, and uh, uh, I want to use it on my book that I'm making to put my Christmas cards in uh, that I got from different people. So. Um, I thought I thought I had put it back in the box that I got from you, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> anyway, um, my next one I'm going to do in pearl, and I'm going to use these little crosses around the bottom of it. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to do pearl instead of a uh, uh, crystal on that one. Um, so that's that's what I've been doing. It's beautiful. See, I tried doing that and I failed dismally. Oh, no, it's really, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm telling you. I ended up with such a knotted. That's the reason why I use Fireline, because you see how I've got it all like yeah. this? Yeah. But look at it. This is why I use Fireline to do this. Which makes sense. I should have used that. I used beading thread. Well, I, I don't, I, I, I use Fireline, and, and it even if it ties a knot, see you i don't know oh, if you yeah. knot or not, nicely. Yeah. but i can untie that knot just by slipping it yeah see and that's what i used for my beading. so so if anybody does this kind of beading i'm going to suggest to them do fire line okay there's there's more than one thing that says fire on it it's fire line don't use fishing line 
use Fireline. That's the only one that I have found that does not tangle and you have to cut it off and start again, cut it off and start again. I actually do like three lengths of my arm from the tip of my finger all the way to my shoulder to get started so that I don't have to keep stopping and starting right on it. So that's, um, Roel um, is asking you, Teresa, if you would like to stream for their summer project. I don't know anything about the summer project, Roel. I'm sorry. I haven't heard about that. Roel, can I send you the link? And do you want to uh, come and explain it to people? Oh, please do, Roel. Come and get, tell us about this. I haven't, I haven't heard about the summer project, but I would love to. Teresa, Roel, that's beautiful. Yes, Oh, I am you so organizing it with him, but he need to explain. No. Right. <laughs> Can I send you the link? Okay, hang on. I'm sending it in Facebook. I gotta hunt down my needles because I've got them put away and. I've got I got little cases that I bought for my needles because they came in those round tubes and I bought these little cases for my needles that you can just pop open and pull them out. So I bought me a case with a magnetic uh, thing in it uh, and it had regular needles in it and all that. So I took all them regular needles out and put my my beading needles in it so I could just grab for them. So. <laughs> But so now I got to go find me another needle. As you saw, my, my needle Facebook. was broken. Messenger, Roel, Messenger. Oh, we're having fun today. Aren't we, though? I was asking you earlier how did it feel not to have 10 people on here with you? And here you go, you're getting them together. <laughs> I sent it to the wrong person. Look at that. Good Lord. Uh oh, they're going to come see you. There you go, Roel. <sighs> Look at all these message windows. I've got one of these that has a light in it and you turn it on and it turns around and around so the bee the, so it looks like it's turning so whenever it turns it sparkles in the light all different color lights though so but uh these crystal ones like this they're they're um they look really pretty uh, all of them look pretty to me I love I love uh beading this is one of my most favorite things to do besides die cutting and and sketching this this is another favorite okay there's raul all right let all right, make me little now <laughs> those must be beautiful on the tree tree so with the light they, they are they're very beautiful and my tree is uh uh iridescent white too so okay raul I'm making you big. <coughs> yes, hello, hello everyone. Yeah, even though it's a black screen, all's good. Hello, Let Raul. us know. Tell Raul. us about the summer project. Okay, the summer project is a, a project for um, a six. It's a six-day project, which will start um, the Monday, the third week of August, Monday till Saturday. And we will have a premieres and streamings. We, have, we will have it all together. It's a hop beginning from 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time till um, um, 3, 3 p.m. It will be a nine hours, nine hours um, event every day. And each day we have, each day we have another, another team. For example, the first day is the day for mixed media. The second day is for um, stitching, tatting, um, working with needles. Um, 
The third day is paper, for example. The fourth day, drawing, etc., etc. I I need to write down first the plan, and I will talk with Miriam about it, because um, I will host it host this event with Miriam again. So we have done the New York, um, not New York, New York New Year streamathon last year, and this will be our second project together that's right the first project went really really well and i also did uh with jasper the valentine collapse scene and i'm planning yes. to do also a halloween collapse scene i don't know um if i will do it alone if there are there are persons uh, there are fips who are interested to co-host with me you are welcome and Yes, but if you have questions, you can ask now. So I'm just chatting with Miriam. Um, Teresa, and Teresa, if you've got any questions for a role, please, you know. No, not at this point in time. I may pretty much explain it. <laughs> okay. yeah. I'm going to be on. I, I signed up. I believe I can't remember why I signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you know why I, why why we want to do it nine hours because um, during the streamathon, uh, streamathon, it was a little bit too exhausted for for me to stay up so late and be in the live stream or the premiere, right? So it will okay. be a six day a six day project, nine hours from six a.m till 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it will not be too late for me. Right. And Miriam also, because we we want to be in the in every stream. As as we are the host, we want to if there are questions, the, the streamers or the attendees can ask us. Or tech or technical technical difficulties if there are yeah yeah miriam has a scheduled uh power cut till 1 a.m tomorrow i oh, wow uh, i understand if she needs to stay dark thank you for coming miriam if you don't make it back i totally understand thank uh, you for being I, here miriam yes i totally get that with what's happening there that it might be safer to stay dark you know yes yeah, stay safe uh, Miriam. you know yes, at Miriam. this mo at this moment i'm making a video um it's um uh, the flag of the two countries and the thumbnail is uh the sign of peace the dove with the three uh, the, the two flags okay yes Be because we all want world peace right okay um Malaya says, do you have to sign up for every day or different people on different days? You can sign up how or how many times you want. If you want to participate um, all the six days, it's possible. You can take um, multiple time slots daily if you want, but you have to stick to the team. This time it will be a very strict um, team. For example, what, what I said, the first day will be mixed media. So mixed media um, is uh, doing collage, uh, <coughs> um, things in your junk journal or um, your journal, you know, collage and yeah. setting up a, a journal. And it will be a mix of premieres and um, live streams. Okay. So some people can pre-record theirs? Yes, yes, that you can do. You can do that. Do that also. You can pre-record um, streams and um, live streams and uh, premieres, and, and you how, can. Yes. How long is the time slot for each person? Um, I will. Um, I will talk with Miriam about that. But what I'm thinking is, um, just have an open, an open time slot because I don't know how many. Because the last uh, last project, the scene collab, 
15 minutes was not uh, was not no, uh, no, no, it wasn't. It was, was crazy. not enough. Was not enough. <laughs> that was enough to make you crazy. That's for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I didn't like that. Yes. Yes. We we will work with dem demands. Or for example, um, I will. Uh, for example, um, our uh, fib uh, Didi Willingham is doing her stream normally Mondays at eight o'clock till eleven, and she's doing like three hours. Maybe she will take the first slot, and then after, if you want to do uh, two slot, uh, two hour slot, or one hour, or five, uh, forty-five minute slots, it's up to you. That's why uh, Miriam and I will. We'll, we'll do the invites. I already have the banner, the, how do you call it? The invite, like an envelope, because I want to do it this time professional. Right. So we, we don't leave no one um, hanging. For example, oh, I want that slot, Miriam or Raul, but we say, oh, we don't have that slot anymore. So that's why we want to invite everyone in one time. That makes in our, sense. In our community. So everybody has the same, same, how do you call it? The same, yes, the same, um, the equal, equal chance to, right. to take their time slot. Right, right. So if people are pre-recording some of this stuff and the live time slots are filled, could they just do the premiere kind of thing but i guess even with their lives people can watch them at later times right yes you can you can you can how do you call it um you can um adjust that in your um youtube studio right 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 yes yes malia the two minute uh countdown That means uh, <laughs> we didn't know about that either. And I want also the, the people who are drawing um, because I want to do all kind of art. If you are making, for example, a sculpture, a theme, a one day sculpture or how to make kites, all type of art and um, drawings. I want to put it. Okay, so the drawings could include the template for what's being created later on in your stream right like if you're design, yes. designing if i designed goonie birds before i actually made them and was drawing it out that would be what that would be for yes cool. well i have no idea how to do a premiere so you know <laughs> oh it is easy you make a video and then you um there's an option to do it like a premiere. It is, yeah. Like when Just, I videoed those those little journals, Teresa, it was shown as a premiere and it went, you know, with it's a It's pre-recorded, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And you know what I'm also planning with me I'm to do the last day, the sixth day, we can do the a mix, a mix max of all the five days. So if you if you don't know in which um, team you are, for example, your work is not mixed media or it's not um, stitching or it's not paper making or something to do with paper, then you can always take a time slot in a six day. Okay. I don't know what I fall under. Me either incredibleness that's what it is <laughs> well that's him that's right Incredible. but for more information you have to follow my community posts i will okay. post now and then and, and we will promote also that's why we are um doing ahead of time a lot of time before right. the day right right so we have a lot of um, promotion and um you can invite everyone who, who you know right okay good to know so it's so, all in your community tab on your channel? Yes, and it will also be on a Miriam channel. Okay. Can you pop your link in so people can follow that, please? Okay, I will do it now. I will um, lock out and I will be in the chat section again. Okay. Thanks very okay, much for thank, all for yes, thank you, everyone. I appreciate that. Yes. Take care.
Okay, well, I'm going back to chat also. Um, okay. You got to you got to see my my little bobble that I'm working on. So. <laughs> I love your little bobble that you're working on. Uh, thank you. Like I said, the next one I'm gonna do with with pearls, and I ordered these little pearl crosses and everything because they have to be a certain way, or you won't be able to use them. And this one has the the hold from top to bottom on it, so that'll work. Because you have to you have to go through the beads twice on this to bring it back up and around all the way around it so exactly. it takes time yeah. but uh yeah but like i said if you decide you want to do beading um then fire line fire line okay <laughs> good to know thank all you right much, thanks for coming uh, on uh thank you for inviting me okay take care bye Teresa. well miss ann Yes, ma'am. Should we call it a day? It's been two and a half hours. Do you have more to play with? Do you oh, I have more to play with, but I'm fine if you're fine. Whoops. Okay, Sorry. then maybe we'll call it a day for this Sunday. And uh, thanks, everybody, for coming. I hope we inspired you to try something bright and beautiful and colorful. Uh, Get those little bits out, those little scrappy bits and throw them together in a mishmash and, and just have a blast, you know, because all these little bits, all these little bits of painty paper, it's, it's just wonderful, you know, just do yourself some boho stuff and, and have fun. So if anybody would like to come on next Sunday, give me a shout. And uh, I'm not sure what we're doing next Sunday. And what are we doing next Sunday? I don't know. What should okay. we do, people? Everybody give us an idea. Give us an idea of what we should do. Anything. One day, um, how about if we... Surprise them. No. We can surprise you guys. If you noticed, I haven't been putting supply lists in because I never know what these ones are going to be. Nap. <laughs> and that would be fun. <laughs> um, during the entire Jean had auction this weekend for Defy. So that's always a long haul for those lovely ladies. I get it. I get it. Yeah. You know, we could do Boho again next weekend. Because there's good. always something a bit different that we could add and, and do and i wouldn't mind doing a lunch <laughs> i wouldn't mind doing a nice big tassel that like miriam just did lunch uh, that's more. good I maybe if i get this done if we kept working on it yeah perfect so we'll do boho again next weekend because that would be fun as i say if anybody wants to come on with us next sunday shoot me a message and uh it's it's our play dates. It's you know, come on out to play. We're friendly, we don't bite no. much often, you know. Take care, everybody. Thanks, everybody in the audience who's chatting and viewing, everybody in the val balcony who's viewing, replayers. Thank Kevin for coming and posting it on Reddit for us. And uh you think you might be able to play next week? That'd be fun. Gene would do some really wild boho stuff. That could be a very interesting stream. Right? Yes, yes, yes. We're all nodding. You can't see us, but we're all nodding. Look, the yes men are nodding. Let's make sure you guys can see them. Yeah, they <laughs> agree. They agree. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Take care, everybody. And uh, we'll see you Tuesday. Going live. Everybody be well. Yeah, take care. Bye now. Bye. Thanks, Anne. I really appreciate you coming to play. You're and welcome. Thank you.